Hey guys, Train DC here, coming at you with another video. So today was Pokemon Presents for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon, and we got Diamond and Pearl remakes in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, but they're not exactly what anybody really expected. So if you don't know already, I have some screenshots on screen, but yeah, it's pretty much a faithful remake of the original if that makes sense in other words it's literally just the original games but in hd it's not like a modern take on them like sword and shield style but diamond and pearl which is what everybody was expecting uh, my first take is i didn't know how exactly to feel about this like the games themselves stylistically look good but it's not really what i want Honestly, all I was expecting out of Diamond and Pearl remakes is literally Sword and Shield's engine, but in the Sinnoh region, which I think that's what most people were expecting. I was expecting a return of the National Dex, so we could transfer all of our old Pokemon from Generation 7 into Sword and Shield and Diamond and Pearl, but it seems like now that's all thrown out the window, because they said every Pokemon that was in Diamond and Pearl will be in this game, so it looks like it's going to just be literally generation 4 but in 2021 it's a, like i said it's absolutely a faithful reimagining of the originals but it's not exactly what i want it's it's really not I, I i'm just look this all leaked earlier today um the legend of arceus game that leaked earlier today in addition to the names brilliant diamond and shining pearl and they were described as being more like a let's go style or Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire style, which that I was fine with. I was like, okay, if we basically take the Sinnoh region, put it in the Let's Go style, how it's like kind of the half chibi models, and we have all the Pokemon in it, and it's in, you know, it's on the Switch. I was fine with that. I was perfectly fine with that, but this, I'm not really a fan of. I, I've got to say, I mean, it's a faithful remake, so does that mean HMs are returning too? I really don't want to see that return, and also we see that it's now random encounters as well. No more Pokemon in the overworld. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I'm just pretty disappointed with what we got with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Like, look, I, I just loved how the remakes would take the old game and just basically be like a modern take on it. Like, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire was a modern take on Ruby and Sapphire. Like, if we made Ruby and Sapphire today on the 3DS, this is what they would look like. If Game Freak was making Pokemon Diamond and Pearl for 2021, a brand new title, this isn't what it would look like. It would look like Sword and Shield. And that's what I wanted, and that's what I expected. And this is just... It's weird, man. It's really weird. I, I really... This this video, I'm kind of lost for words at what exactly to say. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. Again, the implications that this has, that means that the main Pokemon game still is going to be Sword and Shield for at least the next year. And yeah, I mean, because look, I'm going to have a video on the Legends of Arceus later. Uh, that's not going to, I don't think that's going to be the new main Pokemon game. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think it's going to be. I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, I really don't know how to feel about this. It, it's very strange. And yeah, I, again, the implications involved in this means no national decks coming back. Um, this game could have Mega Evolutions, and I would not be surprised if it does. But still, it's like, I don't know. I really don't know. It's, it is a mainline Pokemon game, but at the same time, it, it's kind of not. It's like we're going back 15 years and just making those games in HD. I don't know. Anyways, let me know in the comment section below how you guys feel about this. If you, if you are like me and you're not really a fan of it. I mean, I'm definitely going to get these games, but it's not what I wanted. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.